Why do my horses always get lean rheumatism in the home stretch? <laughs> No fun on the tower with the moss of the power. <laughs> the rents to be paid and the group to be found. Oh, come on, William. How are you going, Hardy? Huh? Stew tomorrow in Mason McGuire? Yeah. Do you know something, though? It'd be nice to get meat in one lump, not just bits and pieces, leftovers. When you're buying a lump, you still have to curl over the bits and pieces of eat and leave the <laughs> Hey, McGuire, give us one of your fags there. <laughs> Just think, McGuire. If it hadn't been for Sir Walter Raleigh, we'd all be biting our bleeding nails down to the quick. Hey, Jesus, what are you doing? Holy Jesus. <laughs> you know, you look a bit peaked. Sex and war combined. They're taking out of you. Well, if war can't affect your sex life, give up the job. <laughs> With apologies to Oscar Wilde, huh? You know something, McGuire? I wish to God you hadn't mentioned the word sex. I had a very disturbing afternoon. Most disturbing. There I was, walking down O'Connell Street. Nothing further from your mind than sex. As a matter of fact, I was thinking of a pint of Guinness and Irish powers go loud. And suddenly, right in front of me, walking right towards me, was this woman with her left breast exposed. <laughs> it was like I was staring at me. <coughs> James McGuire, you would have eaten it without salt. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Says I, but do you happen to know your left did he's exposed? <laughs> Well, she looked at me, then she looked down, she looked up and she said, you know what she said? She said, Jesus, Mary and Holy St. Joseph, I must have left the baby on the bus. <laughs> oh, that's the Jesus. Do you know something, if bullshit was your religion, you'd be the Pope. It's the one who didn't end up making a date with her. Oh, forget it, McGuire, forget it. No, no, but with these Dublin dames, not at all. Give me a good country female every time. Oh, does the country bro get you going or what? No, the innocence. <laughs> yeah, yes, the innocence gets me going. Well, it's not right to take advantage of innocence. And in that innocence, they go for the bit of poetry. <laughs> Come on, Harry, you writing poetry? Jesus, what fella needs right mind to be writing poetry? Yeah, well, it just Listen, says... listen. Didn't Shakespeare write his sonnets? And haven't we Byron and Brownlee? Who could beat them? You mean you give them other people's poems? But I don't know that, Toby. <laughs> and at all, you get a ten lines of Byron. Change it around a bit, you know. To fit them up. Listen, my boy, listen. Say her name is, uh, Maisie. I say, Maisie walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies. And what's best of dark and bright meat in Maisie's big brown eyes. <laughs> Poor Byron, huh? He must be spinning in his grave. Fuck him. <laughs> like, what in telling you, you hit him with the piece of poetry, you're away in a hat. Yeah, well, surely they know. What? The must we take up the daughter? In <laughs> case they wouldn't know Byron from Botticelli. <laughs> Is he another poet, Harry? Well, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Mexican. <laughs> oh, yes, like, you know, he's from Mexico, you know. Just that I thought Botticelli was a painter. Uh, well, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, James McGuire, with a name like that, you would, all right, yeah. <laughs> well, hang on, wait a minute. Wait, 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 you're right. You are right. Because apart from the poetry, he does a bit of painting. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this much, the poetry. Yeah, the worst wonders on the banks of the <laughs> Yeah. You see, I'll take the hot speed of hand after we get off the bus. 
And I say to them, I say, this is your big moment. Not push that. <laughs> From this moment on, you'll never be the same again. <laughs> Send a bit of poetry, and Maguire, it's that old black man. <laughs> well, you must be something of an expert at it by now, then, huh? Yeah, he's like, that writer Buker bounces. <laughs> you know, I took the trouble to learn how to give a woman a good time. You know that some blokes take lessons out to spare as up. Talk Latin. But many of them go to the trouble to find out that a woman likes to pop pork pork too. It's no easy thing satisfying a woman. Well, at least you've learned something, it, Jess. No woman wants three minutes of good nights. <laughs> Are you getting much yourself these days? <laughs> Doing okay. Oh, more power. <laughs> Jess, you'll be looking for a job next. Well, I never stop working at all jobs. The milk round, the paper round. Long day in the butchers every Saturday. And I'm all alone or two. Look, where, what's the matter with you? That's slavery. Your man needs the dough. Anyway, I'm going nowhere. I've no education. Yes, it's tough at the bottom. Yeah, I've never bothered you much. Jason, I'm not looking to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking pints, telling old jokes, <laughs> reciting poetry to kitchen mechanics so you can screw them. That's be more to life than that, Harry. Uh, Marvin, are you telling me you'd take a real job if you could get one? Well, don't think I haven't tried. No, I'd like to get my regular week's wages. I hate seeing her struggle, getting old before her time. Yeah, she's a good woman, your mother. Nobody knows just how good. Hey, Phil McGuire. I've got it. The very thing for you. A job in insurance. Do you know, I went for a job in the building game last week. I'm on the waiting list. The building game? Oh, well, we can't all be cowboys. <laughs> no, I suppose some of us have to be fucking Indians. <laughs> What's wrong with the building game? It's good wages, you know. Anyway, I'm not equipped for much else. Oh, the poor kid, I'm not privileged now in your cage. I'm educating myself with books and I'm smart. <coughs> but I've no formal stuff, you know, like the, the, the leaving cert and all that. Maguire, will you listen to me? Listen, I'm convinced of it. Insurance. But you're out of your mind. What would I know about insurance? Sure, what would he expect you to know about insurance at what? What, 19 years of 17, age? Head, I'm only 17. Oh, for Jesus' sake, if you're going to start, I'll be telling the truth, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Got uh, two full packets of ten. Hey, you're going well, aren't you? Yeah, I pinched them in the paper shop this morning. A few bob a week she gives me, I need to even things up a bit. Wait, now you listen to me, my boy. You are 19 years of age. 19. Now, what do you think they'd be expecting of you in an insurance office at that age? But they'd hardly be <coughs> expecting you to run the place. Well, I don't suppose they would. Not at all. Yeah, they'll take you in there, expecting to teach you the business, right? I think I'd be happier as a <coughs> carpenter. A carpenter? Jesus, have you forgotten what happened to St. Joseph? <laughs> sure, look, even if I got as far as an interview, I wouldn't know what to say. Well, isn't that what I'm here for? Are you saying that you'd know? Let me think about it over the weekends. Right now, you can buy me a couple of pints of porter to lubricate the grey matter. Listen, Harry, I'll buy you a pint anyway. There's no need to kid me about it. Why, I was kidding you, Jesus. Will you listen to me? We'll get you a job all right. So all we have to do is apply the same principles I use on those lovely innocent country girls. Now, hang on a minute. Are you telling me that I'll get myself a job in an insurance office if I go into the interview spouting poetry? It wasn't poetry, I had in mind exactly. It was more what you call bullshit. Oh, hiya, Paddy. How are you? Hey, hang on there a second. Hurry up. I'll join you down the booth in a minute here. Okay, there you go. Listen, come here. There's no rush. Take your bleeding part. <laughs> How are you, Maureen? I'm great. How's yourself? There's nothing wrong with me. Wouldn't be cured be 50 grand. <laughs> oh, and the touch of your sweet hand. Oh, yeah? Sure. Off to meet the boyfriend, is it? Don't have such a thing. Come to the pictures with a fella. But he's not my boyfriend. Just a little...